Seabank Sea Lion Show here at the St. Louis Zoo. My name is Kyle, and out here with me right now, I have a nine-year-old female California sea lion, and her name is Rosie. Why don't you wave hello to everybody out there, Rosie? Girl. Good job. Rosie was born right here at the St. Louis Zoo, and she currently weighs in at about 165 pounds. Uh, typical female is anywhere between 150 up to about 220 pounds, so she fits into that category. And she is a growing girl, and throughout the presentation this afternoon, you are going to hear whistles coming from me. Those whistles let Rosie and the other sea lions know that, yes, you did exactly what I've asked you to do. Great job, and something positive is on the way. We do utilize positive reinforcement training to work with the animals here at the arena and also throughout the zoo. And lots of things go into that. You will see me talking to the animals quite often. You'll see me praising them, letting them know that, yes, you are doing a good job. You may see the occasional high five or two, uh, especially coming from our girl, Rosie. She really does seem to, to like to do the high five. She likes to let us know when she's doing a good job, which is pretty much all the time. So you're going to see lots of those. Yes, you are. But something else you're all going to see as well, you're going to see lots and lots of fish flying through the air here this afternoon. And that's because the animals do receive the majority of their daily diets right out here on stage during our shows, during our training sessions, and their food is what we call their primary reinforcement. And right now what I'll do is bring their diet a little bit closer, let you get a good look at what the animals get to eat on a daily basis. And I think we'll also see if we can bring our rosy girl a little bit closer and let you get a good look at her as well. She tends to get a little bit anxious when she's far, far away from that cooler of goodies there. She's actually doing quite well. All right, kid, come on over. Here she comes. Dun, dun, dun. There. She is ready to go. She has the biggest eyes of any of our sea lions. She'll be checking you guys out here this afternoon. And I'm going to reinforce her for that being nice and patient up there and tell you what, why don't you take a break and swim around if you want, or you can stay here and look at everybody. And as she does that, I need to pick out a brave volunteer. Me, me, me. Your hands went up very quickly, young lady, right here. Well, now she's got to put her shoes on all of a sudden. <laughs> Okay, one second. Why well, she puts her crocs on? All right, we got this. She can't believe she got picked. She wasn't. She wasn't prepared. Oh, careful. You okay? All right. What's your name? Samantha. Samantha. Samantha, you're running out. You're gonna jump right in, aren't you? Are you ready to go? Now she's coming. All right, Samantha. Quick question. Can you touch fish? Yeah. Okay, Samantha. Good. That's that's really the only qualification we need to do this. Okay. So you see that girl right there? You're gonna be working with Rosie. You're gonna help me show everybody here what the animals get to eat. We're also gonna run Rosie through some very simple behaviors to talk about sea lions. Okay. Okay. Very. She, she can't believe it. She's all excited. This is good. Now we're gonna have you back up a little bit. Okay. The first thing we're gonna have you do is what we call target training. That's the very first thing we train a sea lion to do. And all you're going to need to do for that is stick out your right arm and make a fist. Okay, or your left, that'll work too. Now, this is your target. You're going to hold it up for Rosie, and you're going to say the word target in your best trainer voice. And we were looking for her to place her chin on your hand. Okay, it's a form of control, and it's how we get our animals to move from point A to point B. So come on over here, hold up your target nice and high, and say the word. Have Rosie hold on there till I whistle. Okay, have her hold right there. All right, there you go. Good. Now, once I whistled, you'll notice Rosie lifted her head immediately because that signaled to her that she did the behavior correctly. So now she is waiting very patiently for some reinforcement. This is where you come in. Okay, so we're gonna come right over here. You are going to help me give Rosie some of her little tiny fish. They get lots of this stuff. These little guys are called capelin. Capelin is the smallest fish they get that makes up the biggest portion of their diet right now. So you're going to take these. Tell you what, I'll hand them to you. I'll hand you that one. You want to get it, kind of get your whole hand on it, okay? And you want to throw it as best as you can towards Rosie. Just kind of flip it up to her. Nice shot. All right, here, do one more, okay? There you go. 
see how quickly those fish disappear? Just like Rosie just did. That's because sea lions do not chew their food. Their teeth are designed for grasping and holding only. So what they'll do is grab a fish and then they swallow it immediately. They're opportunistic feeders. They want to eat as much as possible as quickly as possible. Okay? Now to help them with that, they have a mouthful of very sharp teeth. You are now going to show everybody here Rosie's teeth. Okay? And we're going to do that very safely, of course. You ever high five your friends here? High five. All right, very good. Now all you need to do to get her to open her mouth is to show her the palm of your hand. Okay, so just kind of show it to her. Hold it up. Wow, that was really good. Holy cow! See how wide she opened up there? I showed you those those little sharp teeth in there. With those sharp teeth, they also get bigger fish. We'll give her this guy. This is a herring right here. Herring is also another part of their diet, so have a herring. And you're just gonna throw that like you did the other guys. Nice shot, and down it goes. Very good. Nice job. You are doing a wonderful job. Now, sea lions are mammals that live out in the ocean. They're excellent swimmers. They're excellent divers. They can hold their breath for about 20 minutes. They can also dive below 1,000 feet of one breath of air. One of the main reasons they can do that is their lung control. They are very efficient breathers, and they will exhale right through their noses right before they dive below the surface. They'll exhale as hard as they can, okay? Now you are gonna demonstrate how a sea lion can basically blow its nose, okay? And all you need to do for that, you're gonna take this whistle in your right hand, get a good tight grip on it, all right, now you're going to press it lightly against Rosie's nose, and let's see what happens, okay? That was, that was pretty good. Here, let's see if we can try one more. Get a little bit louder. All right, Rosie girl. Oh, okay. Nice job. Pretty good, huh? That is a loud, loud whistle. Now, for the whistle behavior, we'll give her a different kind of fish. If I can get it out here, we'll give her a yummy mackerel right here. This is a nice tasty mackerel. Holy mackerel, look at that. All right, you got it? Go ahead and throw that up there. Good shot, and down it goes. All right, you are doing great. You are doing such a good job. I think I'm gonna reinforce your good behavior, okay, for being my good helper, all right? So what do you want out of here? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna have you eat a fish. That's okay, sweetie. We're gonna do something a whole lot more fun. Look, Rosie's waiting for you. Come on over here. And go ahead and pet her on her back, okay? But you gotta tell everybody what she feels like. Go ahead, it's okay. What do you think? She feels like a fish. She feels like a fish, alright? Well, actually, she's not a fish. She is a mammal, and you'll see she's covered with hair. All mammals have hair on their bodies. Sea lions have short hair that is very similar to a short hair dog. So kids, you guys have a short hair dog at home, just give it a bath, play sea lion trainer anytime you want, okay? Because they do feel similar. All right, sweetheart, I know. Mommy got a camera? You don't. You don't have a camera. That's like going on a picnic and not taking food. What is that? I'll tell you what. Maybe we'll get lucky here. Someone can take a photo for you, maybe email it to you, because we're going to have you back up. Rosie wants to give you a going away present, all right? Over here. There you go, you have a sea lion on your head. Somebody will grab one, I think. Did you get it? Okay, very good. Now, before you go, all right, you have to give Rosie her favorite kind of food. Okay, it's what we call sea lion dessert. You like dessert, right? Cake, ice cream, uh, all sorts of nice cookies, all sorts of stuff. And of course, you have to throw in from time to time a nice squid, right? Oh. Ice cold squid on a hot summer day. You really <laughs> Look how quickly the hand goes with the squid, everybody. She's a little reluctant. Okay, I'll tell you what. You just lay your hand flat. I'll put it across. It feels like an ice cold wet snot kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. Let's go ahead and throw it up to Rosie there. Nice shot. Michelle's got some gifts for you right here. You get a nice, delicious Frisbee. You can take that Frisbee with you. And also, the best thing Mom will help you with, the moist towelette so you can lean your hands on. Okay, that's the best part right there. 
Very good job. And Rosie Girl, you were good as well. And with that, I am going to get Rosie here back up on her seat. And we will continue our discussion about California sea lions. In fact, 